Hello and welcome to another video on my channel. It's me, Swaku OZ. Uh, today I'm taking a little break from doing VTest content. Talking about a new game that I've recently picked up. Sort of as a filler um, in between VTest games, some of you might have already got on your hands on it. Uh, it's in early access at the moment on PC, but it's also available on mobile. So I got into this because my friends at work were talking about it and uh, allegedly it was three minutes per game so I thought you know what that's a great sort of pick up in between VTS games when you get ousted or when you're waiting for your fourth or fifth player to show up. So this game that I've picked up is called Marvel Snap and uh, yeah today's video is going to be about that. I will try to do VTS content where I can. I'm still keen on doing VTS content but it's just, you know, a little bit harder to do like gameplay videos and whatnot. So yeah, I hope uh, you enjoy today's video as much as any other video. So this is the game that I've been playing for a little bit. Um, I'm still in pool one, which is basically the, you know, when you just out of tutorial, but you're still in newbie mode. And this is the deck that I've put together just based on the cards available to me in pool one. If you're wondering, this game is completely free to play if you've got the patience for it. Otherwise, you can always um, get season packs. You get some of the, I guess, in game currency, some of the boosters, or whatever have you, what do you call it? Um, faster? You eventually get there, you just have to grind for it. And uh, yeah, you also get some variants that. Well, you're guaranteed it, as opposed to having to randomly pull it when you're later uh, put it down in the game. So, this is the deck that I've put together today. Um, I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with it. If you're coming in from a experienced Marvel Snap point of view, I uh, apologize for a little bit of a... Just bear with me, right? I'm still a noob. I uh, just picked up this game recently. It's good that I picked it up at the start of the season, but I'm also impatient, so uh, yeah, waiting for the season challenges to open has been taking a while. Anyway, the deck. It is essentially a Moon Girl into Devil Dinosaur deck. So Devil's Dinosaur gives you plus two power for each card in your hand. And Moon Girl lets you duplicate your hand, essentially fill it with all the cards that you already have. There is a hand size limit in this game that's not obvious until you start playing or when you actually hit it. But uh, as long as you've got Double Dinosaur in play, well, having two of it is better than none. The rest of the deck is basically there to either kill spots because I can't figure out a better card in that spot or um, it either replaces itself or draws you more. Draws you more cards. So Mantis, um, if you guess correctly, it replaces your replaces itself with a card from your opponent's deck. Uh, Nightcrawler is just to get around locations that sort of require you to move into or locations where you can't play cards at or locations that sort of blow you up. It's like a little nice bonus uh, moving around thingamaji. Angela, I'm kind of trying out. Not too sure whether I want to stick to her or not. I guess let's see what happens. Domino's there just because she shows up on turn two. Uh, sometimes you really want that turn two play. It's in theory the higher drops, you know, uh, like three energy, four energy, five energy, and so on, the better cards. But missing out on the turn two play, um, if you've also missed out on the turn one play, and be quite a big hit, so the 3 power is better than nothing. Sentinel obviously replaces itself with another Sentinel. Cosmos is an interesting one. So Cosmos is here to act as an anti-Enchantress tech. So Enchantress, let me see if I've got a card here somewhere. So Enchantress is a 4 energy card that basically cancels all ongoing um, it is on review, so if you 
if your opponent played Enchantress before you play your Devil Dino, the Devil Dino, the, the little baby Dino isn't affected, or the big Dino at that point isn't affected. But if you've already played your Devil Dinosaur and your opponent follow up with a Enchantress on the next turn, it shuts down the dinosaur's power and it just becomes a baby dinosaur. Three power on five energy is nah, it's not gonna get you anywhere. Focus is just there because it's big. I tried with Onslaught a little bit, but it kind of locks Onslaught into the spot where Devil Dinosaur is, and most of the time, Devil Dino is big enough to hold its own without the need for Onslaught. Heimdall might be an interesting one just because. Sorry, that was a Heimdall? Yeah, Heimdall. Where are you? Heimdall is an interesting one just because you can sometimes do like a surprise shift, but. Uh, I don't know, he's kind of iffy sometimes, right? So the Hawk is just big. Mariko Chavez is dead just so that you don't miss the 6. It's just in case you don't draw the Devil Dino. And you've got nothing, and you don't draw the Hawk either. You at least have a 9 power on 6. So Blue Marvel is the interesting one. Uh, there is the outside chance that you don't draw any of your, you know, 4s, 5s and 6s and you're just stuck with 1s, 2s and 3s. There are some locations that fill your hand with random uh, you know, cards that you may or may not be able to fully utilize and they, you know, you just might end up playing a sort of like a weenie deck with multiple cards on the table rather than the big hitters or the haymakers and uh, Blue Marvel is sort of like a backup just in case you need that to happen. I tried some of the other ones. Gamora, I personally don't like having to continuously guess at what the other side's doing, so Gamora isn't that good for me. I tried Iron Man for a bit. In theory, Iron Man should work well for the Devil Dino, but they both sort of... Uh, well, they're, they're both fighting for five, right? And it, they're also kind of get hit by Enchantress at the same time, which is, uh, yeah. Happened to me a couple of times, it's not great. So far, Blue Marvel's been okay. But, you know, this is like an early deck that I put together. Doesn't really have anything, it's trying to take all comers as much as possible. And the core of it is a Devil Dino, it's a Moon Go into Devil Dino deck. And um, everything else is just either there to support the combo or to work around like, counters to the combo. Uh, try to handle as much unexpected situations as possible. Alright, that is the deck. And uh, yeah, let's get to the gameplay. Mm. It's not too bad. Nightcrawler turn 1 is always good. Uh, yeah, so... Atalan is a kind of really good... not very good location for us because... well in this case it isn't too bad. Because we haven't drawn Devil Dino, but it does mean that even if I guess correctly with Mantis, we're not um, rewarded, which is going to increase the randomness in the deck. So it's good that we draw the deck crawler. Let's just play in the middle. What are the odds? Vault is a necessary good or bad location. It's just this. Um, I have this habit of wanting to play you know, parts on the third location before reviews, but I've been bitten by it more than I've been rewarded. But I'm still gonna do it anyway, because, you know, habits are hard to touch. Oh, Electra? Oh, thank you. Thanks. It's a good one. I'm going to fix a double here. So this prevents this set up a protection early and it ensures that I don't draw in the cosmos. But at the same time, oh no, wait. The Sentinel replaces itself, which means if I play these two and just playing Mantis, I still get the Sentinel back in the deck. So yeah, let's pop a cosmos here and see what happens. You can see that the opponent is Annoyed <laughs> with me taking a while. Uh, Angela's not a good draw here. 
Is it worth skipping the turn to wait for the Devil Dino? I think so. I think so, right? Because then we do Blue Marvel into Devil Dino. So that's a three. Uh, yeah. I think we can. So Angela's not a going card or review. So I think we should be safe to play it. Medusa. It's the sinister. Turn 6 cards can't be played there. So I do have the option of going Moon Go into Devil Dino still. But I think maybe the right play is Blue Marvel into the Hulk. Right? And then we give up the Vault and we take Atalan? Maybe? Not too confident at this point, so probably not. Oh, that's a good little bonus. So, we've, so the lizard has got minus three power when I have four parts on my side, and because it's double, that is. I wasn't expecting that. That is an interesting sort of drawback from the lizard. So now, four. So if I move four, we're even, and then I have a 14. So if they have a Hulk, I still win. Um, I don't think they've got anything else that can make me lose. Uh, I think I lose to exactly Heimdall, right? Yeah, I lose to exactly Heimdall. Make them have it. Huh? Okay. We take those. Vengeous compound. So no turn one play. Turn by all cards must be played. Yeah. That's an odd one. So if we do draw into Devil Dino, we're forced to play it there. So we'll have to start populating all the other locations first. Alright. Okay, this look like our opponent has got eight on one play. It's not too bad. Multiple targets for Electra. Always lucky. Oh, this is interesting. So I've never seen Mirror Dimension into Avengers Compound before, and I'm not sure how that interaction works. I wonder if it just means that I can play, like, that's an option, right? Um, if this says blow up, that says blow up. So be it. Just domino. We should be fine. Forge. Ah, that is a good one. Although, I don't really have any good cards to play at the moment. So, how do we do this? Uh, this gets me two Sentinels, which I don't want. How many cards are we going to end up playing here? Dino has to go there. Alright, let's just chuck Dino here and see happens. So because I don't have the Devil Dino, it should get bigger every time I draw a card. There we go, that's was my question. So I have a four. Yeah, let's play the white queen here and see. So one of the things I like about the White Queen is it not only oh she's a six right um clear for takeoff and she also provides additional information so now I know oh, I think I've hit my maximum hand size of seven so I haven't drawn a new card 
and this is from this is from the opponent. So um yeah, let's just go with blue marble and then go into the Hulk and see what happens. The opponent plays the Hulk here. Bishop becomes a 7. I lose to exactly Blue Marble? Hulk here. Nah, I think I just slammed the Hulk in. Hope for the best. Assemble. Nice, not finished at all. Victory. Crimson Cosmos. That's fine. I've got Mantis, Sentinel, Cosmos. Hopefully, I draw into Moon Girl and Devil Dino in the next couple of draws, but. I think we're still okay. Mantis here. Ah, that would have been good. What are the odds? Uh, should I send on here? I guess. Cosmos is three cost. So we go like this. And then we reserve this spot for Devil Dino, right? Oh, well, the reason why I'm playing Sentinel is because Sentinel replaces itself. So it doesn't get into the Devil Dino hand. And if I want to. go. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ah. God, again, Cosmos blocks. Yeah, so that's fine. So we pop the arrow on Mr. Sims. Yeah, let's play blue marble here. Oh! I screwed up. I absolutely screwed up. Absolutely, absolutely screwed up. So I, I did have to play Nightcrawler here so that I can move him and then I'll win this one. So it's got a 7. I'm pretty confident that he's got it locked up on 8. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 11, 12, 13. Sorry. 3. Oh yeah, I'm just thinking of pushing this one a little bit more. Which means playing domino here. That's that's not a that's a relevant number. I'm just trying to decide whether Chavez is bigger or what I know is bigger. So three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So plus ten. That's thirteen. And that's eleven. So let's do this. Let's see what happens. Not happy about it, but you know. This thing's an eight. Stuff happens. Right. That's it. Scrape through by the skin of the fin of my genie chin chin. Sometimes you get lucky, and then sometimes. Anyway. Mentors, 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 Mentors. So I've noticed that a lot of players, what they'll do is 
for the first turn, they either play on location 1 or location 3. I don't know why that's the case, but in this case, if I play Mantis on location 1, I don't get an effect until the game ends, which is kind of pointless. So let's do location 3. Ah, okay. I overthought that again. It's a good one. So because we, we've got the pop always right. lucky. Uh, let's do Angela here. Is she a potential buy? Because at this point we're basically going all in on the Nexus. So if she can grow bigger than Domino. Oh, oh, okay. Uh we don't have a choice then. If we play here. What can I play? We still have to fall. No, not really. Six. What's the biggest of four? It's a nine. Abomination. Not many people play Abomination. Let's just go for it. Time's up. And yeah. So what's so I don't have any I haven't got any ongoing cards. Even if he does play Cosmos here, I'm protected because the White Queen's ability isn't too important. So just drop Emma Frost here and see if we can. that's enough to win the game. So that's a white tiger, right? That's fine. No. Oh, so close! Well done. Well done. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty cool name. Right on time. Watch the content. You play fight here, destroy it. What is this? Uh, yeah. I guess we don't have much of a choice, right? Let's so start giving opponent more parts. So this is an interesting one, Cable. Cable does mess with your opponent's plans a little bit, but at the same time, the bottom card, you only see, you don't see your top cards in a game, right? So then the bottom card becomes, yeah, not really a thing. Let's do it like this. I mean, I'm not happy, but... Uh, I've actually got the Hulk. So I can do this. And then on turn 6, we'll just give him the Hulk. Alright, and they got the Hulk anyway. Haha! Oh. <laughs> Haha, the honor of you shut the off. Nice. But I still get the option because of that, so let's, let's snap here. Actually snap, instead of doing something stupid. So the next turn I will have, so this is 3, 4, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's just a 13. And the next turn I'll draw 1 and play Hulk, so... Okay, his wound go gives me 4. Ah, oh, nice. So I'll have the maximum hand size no matter what. So I don't need the White Queen here. Don't want to give them the Devil Dino, so it's, this is the only way. And then the Hulk on 6. That is interesting. Let's still go with the Hulk on 6. What do I lose to? I lose to exactly Cosmos. Haha, oh, I boosted this! Assemble. Oh my god. Uh, do I lose? No, I win! So I'm 10, I'm over my victory! Yeah. yeah. Nice, 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 nice. But half the combo. Oh, and Cosmos, which is the protection. 
Sentinel's nice. Gets my hand nice and full. Where will go? Go Kazar and Blue Marvel. Always lucky. This is an interesting one. What do I lose to here? Nah, that's fine. Sentinel replaces itself, so doesn't really matter to me here. Let's go with Sano here. Carnage. Hey. I never really understood the whole point of playing an early game Carnage. Just because, like, what are you trying to do? You're trying to maximize Carnage's ability, but like, it's Carnage into Angel. That's not bad, but what are you doing really then? Okay, so I want to play Cosmos here, but because of Oscorp power, there is a chance, there's a 50-50 chance that Cosmos just ends up on the other side. So the safest way is to play Cosmos here. Cute. Let's take the squirrel, because why not? And we go! Snapped. snapped on a four? Oh. Hey. Let's, let's see what, what he's got. So it was a tie. Nice. So no one drew. So let's drop Devil Dino here. I mean, this is great, right? Even though I didn't get Moon Go to duplicate Devil Dino. Ah, oh, okay. Because Cosmo shut off the White Queen's ability. That's fine. So let's do Devil Dino here. Let's just go big. If they duplicate, if it duplicates in Off Court Tower, I'll slam the Hulk here. But if it duplicates in Asgard, I might just slam Hulk in Oscorp power. See if they retreat. This will be interesting. Okay, so I've, I'm winning two. I'm definitely winning this. What do I lose to? What do I lose to? This will Blue Marvel. No, I don't lose to Blue Marvel. This is ongoing? No, none of these are ongoing. You can't trigger on review again because of Cosmos. So I just win, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna do anything for you. Big W. Victory. All right, so. What do we think of the deck? I think the deck works pretty well. Blue Marvel, uh, Blue Marvel and um, Nightcrawler plugging sort of the gaps that the Devil Dino um, gameplay plan combo that works is pretty good. Angela still a bit iffy, but I'm not 100% sure what do I replace her with Cable. If you've got a good idea, let me know what you think in the description below. And yeah, I'd just like to take this opportunity to remind you that if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!